Hey, what is YouTube and welcome to more WWE 2K15 video game footage here on the PlayStation 4 where we're going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit more of the story collection option found in this year's universe mode. So recently what I've been doing is showing you guys a lot of the rivalries in full, um, showing you guys what it offers and what you guys can do in your own universe mode. But one of the things that I've not yet done and it surprises me that I've taken this long to do it is actually show you guys how to set it up. Um, several times now I've been asked um, in the comments, you know, how do you set this up? It's not, it's not being highlighted. It's not, let me use this. What do I do? So I figured, you know, might as well give you guys a video to go ahead and refer back to if you guys are having more troubles with this. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and show you guys the Undertaker and Daniel Bryan one. This is the first rivalry that I did actually show you guys. There goes my phone. Okay. And, um, you're going to see that this one is the only one highlighted, meaning that this is the only one where the settings are actually matched up correctly. If you see right now for the Undertaker and Daniel Bryan, a lot of these guys have to be set exactly the way it shows right there. And I'm going to show you guys right now, you see that it's highlighted. We can actually go in and, and use this rivalry. So there, it's there, right? You see it there. But we're going to happens if we mess with some of the settings just a little bit um do note that even though it does not say there and i don't think it does anyways um all five men in that rivalry have to be on the same roster so for this one we actually did use um raw i don't know if you can do for smackdown i'm pretty sure you could but if anything if that does not work just switch it back to raw that's always worked for me so the undertaker let's go ahead and switch him to smackdown and if if we go back to the rivalry menu we're going to see that this one's no longer highlighted, which means that no matter how much I press X, it's not going to let us use it. So if we go back and switch the Undertaker back to Raw, we're going to see that we actually can use this rivalry once again. So there it is. Again, it's it's highlighted. So again, you can use, use this rivalry as long as all the settings are matched up. Um, one of the things that I've said in the past, and it turns out that it's not true, um, I was under the impression that Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns, because they're taking on the roles of the Shield, I thought that they had to be um, a stable, an active stable. Unfortunately, they don't have to be. Um, they used to be, and I, and I deleted them to show a point in a previous recording of this, but it turns out they do not have to be members of the Shield, so they can be um, on their own. I, I'm pretty sure they can be in, in separate um, stables. But again, they don't have to be members of the Shield actively, but what does have to happen is Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns have to be allies. So for you to go ahead and change that, go into your relationships tab on any one of the characters. Um, I think for this one, you'd have to be with Dean Ambrose. Make sure that they are allies. It really does not matter what level they are as long as they're just allies with each other. If they're not, I'm going to remove Roman Reigns just to show you as an example. So as we save all the settings, go back to our rivalry tab, we can show you guys that it will not let us choose the rivalry again. So if you go back to Dean Ambrose, and if we go back to the relationships tab, give Roman Reigns, we'll just put him as level one, just to show you that it really does not matter. Um, where is he at? So he's back there as, a, an, as an ally. So we save the settings. Once again, go back to our rivalry tab. We're going to see that it does, in fact, let us use this rivalry. So again, you have to just make sure that all the settings are 100% exactly the same. That's why a lot of people are having troubles because they're missing either one or two settings for the rivalries like John Cena and CM Punk. Make sure that Cena's a champion. He has a correct crowd reaction. For this one, you do get guest superstars, which can be random. It, it really depends I think it'd be different every single time. It just it's a, it's a matter of who your tag team champions are and who's at the top of the WWE uh, world title ranking. So as long as you just get those minor details in, you're set to go and use the rivalry. So again, hopefully you guys um, found this video useful. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys um, were able to finally use one of the rivalries that you wanted to use. Um, but that's really it for this video. Just me showing you guys how to do this. So... If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down below. Leave leave a comment, dude. I love comments so much. Um, I really do love reading the feedback that I get from a lot of you guys, even if they're just questions on how to do something as simple as this. So, if you guys are interested in some more WWE 2K15 video game footage, 
go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be bringing out a ton more content within the next two weeks or so now that I'm on break. So once again, before I keep babbling on, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time.